What's up, fight fans? I'm in the car. The little man is sleeping. So, let's break down the card for today. UFC 200. Probably the stacked card in the history of the UFC. Not in MMA in general, but maybe in MMA because MMA was never what it is today. So, we have Misha Tate uh, and Amanda News. To me, Tate will take that. Uh, I'm very happy that she's a champion. She is very Im impressive at the moment. She, uh, I like her because she's still feminine. She's still cute and sexy and everything, but she's also a fighter. Uh, this is not something that you can see in Ronda Rousey. I'm not saying that Ronda is not beautiful, but she's too manly. Uh, Holly Holm, she's on steroids, so. This is my take, and anyway, fight-wise, I think Tate will take it. Then we have <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt will knock him out in the first round. I will not comment more on that. I, I don't comment this anymore. Uh, Daniel Cormier versus Anderson Silva. Well, as much as I respect Anderson and I like him to keep fighting, um, I'm not a big fan of Cormier. But I think Cormier will smash him bad. I think this will maybe will be one of the last fights of Anderson. He will punish him very bad. <sighs> Aldo Edgar. Aldo doesn't look himself since he's lost to Edgar, uh, to McGregor. Another asshole that I will not talk about. So I think. Every champion that was so dominant and he lost in the way that he did, Anderson, Fedor, um, they don't do well anymore. So I think Edgar will beat the shit out of Aldo. But let's see, who knows? It's a fight. This is just my predictions. So I don't know if this will happen. Um, then we have, yeah, my boy Ken Velasquez and Travis Brown. I think Kane has that. Uh, Travis never fought a guy like Kane and he will just dominate him. Uh, typically in Kane's style. So, Kat Singano and Juliana Pena. I think Juliana got that. She is very, very good. Uh, if, if she didn't, didn't have these two knee surgeries and so on, I think she would be mm, much further than now. And Kat, she's a tough woman, but I would go with uh, Pena in this one. Johnny Hendricks, again, not making weight. Johnny, <laughs> change the division. You know, you're doing Anthony Johnson shit. Just change the division. Uh, you're too big to cut this amount of weight um, uh, between Kelvin and Gastelum. Well, that's a tough one to call. Kelvin is the new dude, uh, but... Johnny is tough as nails. He lost his fight, pretty brutal. Uh, he got TKO'd or I think KO'd or TKO'd. Whatever, he was punched and then finished between uh, from Josh Thompson. I'm speaking bullshits. Not jo Josh Thompson. How was the name of that talented, talented kid, the new kid? I forgot him, but you know who knocked him out. So, well, I would go. I don't know about that fight. Seriously, uh, Johnny Hendricks is not doing very well last fights, so I. But I don't know. I, we, we should see. If I need to pick somebody, I would pick Henderson because he's more experienced. But who knows? T.J. Dillashaw and Rafael Asuncao. <laughs> T.J. will take that, but I really want him to get beat up. I can't stand that asshole. Sage Northcutt and some guy Marin Enrique something. Um, I don't know anything about the other guy, and I I just know what we saw from um, Dana White's hunting show. So probably the pretty boy will win, but who knows? Diego Sanchez, Joel Lozon. Uh, I think Diego Sanchez will be submitted that time. 
his last couple of fights he's just taking punishment with his face and winning fights i don't know how that works uh maybe because he's giving the impression that he's attacking too much he get busted up against martin camp Kapman and he lo uh, he won the fight i was watching the um, backstage interviews and he was not looking like a human being really he he didn't know where he is he this guy will end up like gary goodrich and muhammad ali he's he's very close to he has a lot of brain damage already i think joe will submit him easy but i forgot that diego is actually black belt in jiu-jitsu so but i will go with joe Gegard Nusasi and Thiago Santos. Gegard is, is much, much more experienced than this guy. And I never saw Thiago Santos fight actually, so I would go with Gegard. Jim Miller and Takanori Gomi. Miller got that. Takamori, Takanori Gomi is gone uh, from long time already. He's just gone. And again, this is just my predictions. Um, personally, I root for <laughs> almost the same what I said in the predictions, Tate, Hunt, uh, in Daniel Cormier, Anderson Silva, I actually want Anderson to beat up Cormier, because I don't like Jones, but I also don't like Cormier. Cormier is as fake as Jones, just look at him, look his body language, he, he, he's fake to me, I, I don't buy that, you know. Mr. Captain of the team and so on. Uh, he's too fake. Um, I liked him before he came in UFC, but when I saw a lot of his interviews and this kind of stuff, and he's just, I don't know, he's not confident enough. He's always, you know, like bragging about his wrestling and so on. And um, it's not, it's hard to like this guy, at least me. Personally, I would like Aldo to win so we can watch another fight like that, but. That's not going to happen. I think Aldo is going to get beaten up bad. I am watching the card here in this my second phone. So this is my take. If you have, uh, if you think else, comment below, subscribe. Uh, tonight I will make a reaction video because we are going to stay with my brother and watch the fights. We are in Bulgaria, so it's a different time zone and we will need to stay quite late, but for this card I will stay. I don't stay for any other cards. I don't watch, I watch usually uh, the fights afterwards. Um, so let's see, I'm excited. I would be more excited if Jones was fighting, but he's an anabolic motherfucker, so bye.